Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Goku, of course, and in this video it's just the Vindicate news. Basically, it's a day late, I know. Um, basically, I did mean to do it on Sunday, but instead of us doing normal training, we did kind of have like a mess around, have fun kind of stuff. And uh, basically, I just never got around to recording it because we were just having a lot of fun. And yeah, I just kind of realized that worked today that I hadn't done one. Uh, so, in the video, just going to be talking about what's happened this week in terms of the team. Basically, quite big stuff actually. Uh, on Monday, we actually lost our solo laner. Our solo laner left the team because of commitment issues. Well, it sounds. Hang on, let me just. There we go. So now I'm looking that, that way. So hang on, hang on, hang on. About there. Okay. So yeah, we lost our solo laner due to commitment issues. Basically, he couldn't commit 100% to the team anymore. He he like kept on having issues with um, his family getting in the way. Friends I wanted to see, you know, having a social life, all this stuff that basically, as a 17-year-old, you should be a entitled to do. And basically, you just chose that over Smite, which is a completely understandable uh, request, you know, understand it completely. I, myself, at 17, like, was the same. So, uh, you know, there was no hard feelings, nothing like uh, in any issue like that. And he said that he could be a sub for the team if everyone needed it. So, uh, that's always, you know, it ended on a good way. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to leave, blah, 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 blah. Um... So that's what happened on the Monday. So obviously we didn't scrim or anything like that on the Monday. It was basically us trying to find solo laners and trying to find people to play with, I suppose. Uh, obviously we did have Sweatmeister from the uh, EGL before, who we thought was quite good, but his squirrel level wasn't quite there for the main team. So he's still a sub right now. Um, but he's, he has the same kind of equipment issues as King does. He's not always online when we need him and stuff like that. So uh, that's one issue with Sweat. Uh, that's why he's not been brought to the main roster. Then we had... Um, the Kongster, who was our sub slash coach, and he was the sub for ADC. And basically on the, uh, I believe it was the, hang on, let me just find it. It was the 16th, so that was the Wednesday, is when we first uh, scrimmed. And we went against uh, DCEU, Dominus Kaido, who we were beating quite easily before. Uh, they 2 owed us, and then we went into a pre-made and lost that one as well. And basically, at the end of the... Uh, Final pre made, we were all pretty frustrated, we were both we were all pretty annoyed, and unfortunately, conflict happened between uh, a couple of the members and Kongs ended up leaving mainly because he didn't like the attitude of the members. And he felt like, well, he wasn't even meant to be there in this situation, he was he was meant to go on a two week leave from the team because he had a lot of personal issues that were happening. So, the fact that he was even there was uh, was a great um, thankfulness, thank great. Uh, appreciation I suppose or I appreciated it very much that he was there basically and uh, he unfortunately left because he, he got really annoyed at the members not gonna say any names um, but uh, you know it just happened and unfortunately he had to leave which was a bit unfortunate for our team now so now we've only got uh, Sweatmeister who is sort of a sub and then we've got Math for the win who is also a sub who's, who's been a sub for a long time so he's still around he's still kicking and he has been filling in quite a lot recently so uh, you know he's still there and it's still going well so in terms of solo laners, we've been trying out quite a few people. We've tried out, uh, let me just get up the list, because we have quite a few. We tried out Lego Kinetic. Um, he was a mid laner, tried solo, didn't work out. Then we had uh, the Noobish Noob and Crook Smurf. They tried out and they, they did okay. The names are still on the list, you know, in case we you know need to bring them back into or try another tryout with them. Then you got Loliet, who um, uh, really performed quite well in the, in the initial tryouts. And then came, come to uh, the Sunday tournament, he underperformed quite uh, harshly. Maybe it was just a pick, maybe he was uh, feeling a bit pressured into it because he wasn't part of the team. And maybe the communication just wasn't there. You know, it, it happens, He's only, he, it was like only the second time they played with us, and the first time he played with a mic with us. So, um, you know, that happened. He's still on the list, obviously, and uh, he's still a really good member and really good player. So he's, he's one of the names that I'm considering for the solo laner role. But also we have got um, quite a few other people that we want to try out. I mean, we're not making this a really quick process. We want to get the right solo laner with the right commitment and make sure that he's going to be here all the time and make sure he's a good player. So, you know, it's, try it's trying to find the balance of a good player, the commitment, and then also improving. So if he's a bad player but can commit a lot, can he improve quickly to become a good player? You know, that's that's basically what the, uh, the issue is. Uh, so we're trying out uh, another couple of members tonight. So it's Monday. And we're going to be trying out Dionysus and Cubic. We're going to be trying those two out tonight. And then the final one that we want to try out is uh, Gestrude. I've been trying to get into contact with him, contact with him for quite a while. And uh, unfortunately, he hasn't been online or he hasn't been um, able to contact me back because he's in like a ranked game or something like that. Or 
just maybe I went offline, he went offline, you know, all, all this stuff has just been unfortunate in terms of timings. But um, we're going to be trying out him as well, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's basically what's been happening so far. So looking forward to uh, the next couple of weeks or so. We've obviously got the, uh, let me just get back the results. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. So obviously on the Wednesday we lost. On the Friday we won our first game, lost uh, second game, won against Dominus Kaido, which was a big thing. And then we won against the Primo. So on that day we actually won three out of four. So that was the, um, I think that was actually the Thursday. Yeah, we scrimmed on the Thursday as well. And then we uh, missed out Friday, Saturday because uh, me and Campbell had a, a couple of things that we had to do. And then on the 20th was obviously the um, the Smite uh, playing, the, S the Smite Pro League playing. And basically, if you got into the top four of that, then you go into the round robin. Fortunately, we got knocked out first round against Heroes and Zeros, who went on to actually get second in the tournament, which was, you know, congrats to them. They were a really good team, and uh, they really put us in our place. You know, we realized that there are teams out there that haven't been in the SWC, and they're still really good, and they're really contending strong with these players. So, obviously, that's where we want to get to be in the end. And that's basically all the news so far. So, what we're going to do to improve so far, we've got the uh, solo lanes that we've still got to try out. Then we're going to be obviously looking at what we need to improve on our play. We've got a lot of replays that we need to watch back. And uh, we always watch back all the broadcaster ones to see what the actual commentators and the casters say. See what we need to improve. Like I noticed that in my uh, game on Sunday, I uh, overcommitted quite a lot. So that's one of the things that I need to work on personally. And, you know, I need to have the uh, team to back me up. And if I know that it's like they're going to lose and I need to back off, I can't just overcommit and then I die as well. So that was uh, one thing that I definitely need to work on in the future. So... Hope you've enjoyed this video guys, I'm sorry it's one day late, but I'll try and do the uh, next one on Sunday as normal. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.